people of the world, it's Wednesday, that means it's comic book day, it's also the preview day for San Diego Comic Con, and if you're there, I am incredibly envious of you. But let's talk about the comic books that I read this week. First up is Earth's Avengers issue number 5, the secret origin of the Marvel Universe. Loki's doing his Loki thing and narrating a lot, talking about where an ancient celestial fell to Earth and died, and which is basically the origin of our species. But the reason why this celestial died was because of these cosmic locust things that infected it. And in present day, the same type of thing is happening to the current Celestials. So it's a huge battle royale with the Avengers involved. The next issue should be really badass, although the only aspect that I'm really looking forward to is to see Loki take on Doctor Strange. Darth Vader Annual Issue Number 2. This is basically a nice little tie-in to the Rogue One movie. It's also showing Governor Tarkin and how he maintains control over Vader. It's a nice in-between movie kind of story that I did thoroughly enjoy. Justice League Issue Number 4. The Source Wall has been destroyed and it's releasing all of these strange cosmic powers. And one of the major powers at play is the Still Force. This whole story is a bit convoluted as at one point it goes from Martian Manhunter's brain and then it goes to the moon and then underwater and the Still Force, similar to the Speed Force, is at play. It feels like a lot is being put into this story where it could be much more simplified. Infinity Countdown issue number five. The story is much more of like a prelude story into the next prelude story. No joke, this entire series just really seemed to be a build up to ascertain where all of the Infinity Stones are so that it can be built up into the Infinity War Prime story. I'm sure the Avengers Infinity War movie had absolutely no influence at building up this story at all. Sargasm. Cable issue number 159 and oh man this was a sad issue. This is more of a backstory on Cable and how he came about with one of his villains who happens to be a techno-organic virus villain. And it turns out his own techno-organic virus is the cause of this villain. But it's cool to see a story with him as a child being raised by Slim and Red also known as Cyclops and Jean Grey. The next issue is going into the extermination storyline which should be fairly cool. Finally I read X-Men Gold issue number 32, Prestige Dark Part 2. Rachel Gray is under the influence of Mesmero, and he has her thinking that she's a hound again, where she's hunting down other mutants, or killing them in some cases. She obviously breaks free from this, but there is some repercussions, which may be going into the next storyline involving Storm. It involves her having Asgardian powers, including a hammer called Stormcast. But the big thing about this issue that I absolutely have to point out is that Bobby Drake Iceman sleeps with the new Pyro. This is not the original Pyro who died from the Legacy Virus. This is the new one, Simon Lasker. And I think just about every single person reading this comic book pointed out that these two men were going to sleep together eventually. I mean, the whole fire and ice thing going on, plus the whole movie aspect of the X-Men having Bobby Drake having an adversarial role, but still having a buddy relationship with that version of Pyro. I know some people are screaming and saying they hate it, but you know what? I love it, and I think it's awesome, and I do hope these guys end up being in a couple. Even though they say it's just a one-night stand, but still, I hope it happens. So that's my comic load for this week. I also read Injustice vs. Masters of the Universe issue number one, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. What'd you guys read? Leave comments down below and let me know. But I'll end this video at that point. If you like this video, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Put on the notification bell so you know when I put up new videos. Check out my Patreon site when you get a chance. Check out my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stay and I'll see you guys later. I'm in love with a hero. I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but Iceman will be getting another ongoing series, and I'm excited to read that as it comes out. I'll do videos individually for each issue that comes out, although I do know there are some people out there that are so incredibly angry and hateful about him getting another series. But you know what? Again, if you don't like it, you don't have to read it. I personally enjoyed the, the previous run with Cena Grace, and I'm hoping the new series is going to be just as good, or if even better.